podcast, Prin Clarinas. My name is Louise. I make new videos on a Monday and Thursday, so do subscribe. And today we are going to be making cake pops. If you know me at all, you will know that kitchen skills are not my forte. In fact, um, I haven't baked a cake for over a decade, so this seemed like a foolish thing to try, but I got really overexcited when I saw a load of cake pop merch in Poundland, so I bought it all and I was like, right, I'm going to use it. So first of all, I thought I'll make a cake from scratch with uh, flour and eggs and, well, baking soda, baking you know, components, ingredients. And then I realized that that would be shockingly bad. So I thought, oh, I'll just buy cake mix and make it that way. And then I realized, nah, just buy a pre-made cake and we're gonna start from that level. But obviously, if you want to, you can do it properly. But Zoe told me it's quite hard to make. So I thought, let's make this as easy as possible. She says, brandishing a knife. Okay, let's get cracking. So the first thing you want to do is cut off any crunchy bits of the cake you've already bought because we're going to like you know crush it all up these are like top tips for you here right just put that um um somewhere somewhere else not thought this through in a tiny pepper pig bowl because you're going to crush it all up i think it has to be soft i'm saying this like i know what i'm doing but honestly all i've done is watch one tutorial of how this works and I'm just giving it a go so just put all that to one side I don't know what for and then put the soft cake in a bowl <laughs> if there's a piece of paper take that off too crumble the cake um just I don't like the texture of it at all oh, I don't like the texture Mmm, oh, that's making me feel very... No, I'm gonna have to get a... Oh. Okay, using a fork, just crush it all up into like bread crumbs. Cake, 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 cake crumbs, cake crumbs. Yummy. This one is already a moist cake. Moist, because it's a lemon drizzle. Um, but you have to add some stuff to it to make it more moist, moister. Okay, that is much better than using my actual hand. Okay, now we're going to add some buttercream flavour frosting. Yummy. So just lovely. Apparently you've got to mix this in quite slowly. As in like, don't put the whole tub in at once. You just need it bit by bit, depending on <laughs> the wetness of your sponge. Baking, aren't I? Like Delia Bloody Smith. So at this point, I'm going to see if I can make a ball of the stuff. Uh, just gonna. Uh. That looks delicious to me. So now that we've made this little beauty. I'm gonna pop it in the mold that I bought. I mean, should I put a bit more on? I don't know, just like so. And I'm gonna do that for all six. Now we're going to take our lid and just brilliant that's so great shove it in like that perfect if you're having a bit of excess issue like i am use a knife or a stick and just get rid of that because it's making it hard to shut it just get rid of that look at all these beautiful delicious cake pops at this point, we're going to take our sticks and poke them carefully through the hole into the moist mixture. I don't know how deep you should be pushing these things in. Just as deep as you want to go, really. We're now going to put these in the freezer for 10 minutes and they're not full. If I'm honest, I already know these are going to be a bit of a fail because 
I'm not sure I've filled those moulds fully, but see how we go. God loves a trier. Right, we've taken the cake pops out of the freezer now. These are the ones I did, and then Katie did a batch as well. So now we've got to try and peel this off, I guess. Okay, easy peasy, guys. Just keeping things real with another excellent crafty homey tutorial for you. So, just pop that off. Oh! <gasps> it's worked a bit! Shut the front door. I've made a cake pop. It's, it's a delicate beast. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is quickly pour some sprinkles in this cute little dish. Ah. Like so. And then I'm going to dip this in. I've just melted down some white chocolate. You can use candy melts or icing or, you know, all that stuff that proper people use, but just use the Milky Bar. Okay, just gonna... Oh, uh, it's harder than you... Okay, great. And I'm just gonna stick that in the stand. Looking delicious! <laughs> <laughs> I think you put too much chocolate on it. Yeah, I think so too. So, lesson learned is that maybe I put too much chocolate on. So this time I'm just gonna gently do some. Okay, and then I'm going to just sprinkle on. Good. <laughs> and now I'll do the rest. If you're feeling crazy wild, you can add a bit of food colouring oh, to your icing or chocolate. So we've gone for a pink base now. And here you have the beautiful cake pops that we've made. So easy. So professional looking, you could sell those in an upmarket boutique. Don't forget to Instagram. <laughs> so that is how you make some really excellent cake pops that you could share with your friends and family. I hope you've enjoyed this fantastic tutorial and I will see you next time for another brilliant video. Do subscribe, thanks for watching, love you lots, bye! Goodbye. The cake pops are waiting for me. Oh. I have a PO box which companies like to send products to um, for me to try out and then if I like them I tell you guys about them. Um, but today I thought I would just tell you some interesting things that have dropped into my PO box recently as kind of one because I think it's quite interesting to see what things are in there and also um, I'm really grateful to the companies that sent them so I wanted to sort of... P.S. if worse comes to worse, just buy them. <laughs>